Hi guys, uh, right, apologies for this, it's a bit of a lash up and it's not pretty, uh, but it's going to get the job done whilst we uh, do some testing uh, on, on this. Um, what I've done is found an old mains input board from a scrap set, fused, switched. I have, uh, just for the hell of it, earth the IPM heatsink, uh, you know, not required really, but it's there, what the hell. Um, I have taken the live from this and um, put that straight into uh, terminal one of the uh, solid state relay. Um, the neutral from that goes into this block connector and I've also put the earth into there as well just you know maybe for future use. And uh, then on the output of the uh, pin two of the solid state relay that just for demo purposes is going off and let me just see if we can pan around and I've just connected a really low uh, power uh, lamp I think it's a, an oven amp uh, oven, oven amp <laughs> an oven lamp and uh, yeah, that's just connected to the output where normally the uh, obviously the ceramic heater would be connected obviously neutral uh, to the lamp is connected here as well uh, and then what I've done I have taken the wires out of this uh, connector that I was going to use I've just cut them off it's uh, it's not going to work uh, with that so I've just cut the wires off that I need now uh, we have uh, pins four uh, sorry pins three and four we've basically got the 12 volt uh, supply the switching supply that was powering that relay uh, in the uh, in the PID before, uh, pin 3 is positive, uh, pin 4 is negative, and then I have cut the wires for the thermocouple, and uh, I have just bodged uh, connections in here for the time being, and I've just got that old thermocouple that I had lying around again um, to control that. Um, so yeah that's pretty much it really um, I thought it might be useful to have this uh, switch because I can then leave this on and powered up um, but not supply power to the uh, the heating element uh, until I actually need it to um, so what I've done I've set this for I think it was about 23 degrees uh, so I'll just power up both devices yeah that's flickering again for you but it's uh, the set value is 23 the output light is on I don't think I can lower this down really um, let me just see if I can zoom in you might be able to see the yeah so we've got 23 degrees is the set value 9 degrees is the process value which is the temperature in uh, in the workshop at the moment the light is on and uh, I don't know whether you'll be able to see it but the red on light on the solid state relay is uh, is lit let me just zoom in a little bit yeah hopefully you can see that that's lit and uh, if I now fire up the uh, mains on here the lamp will come on so I'm just going to turn that on if we go over there yeah hopefully I don't want to flood this out with the light but you can see the lights on temperatures now 10 degrees and if I pick this thermocouple up and just hold it in my hand we're going up 12 13 15 17 18 uh, hopefully you can see that 21 22 lamps off 23 if I just let that go and you'll see it all cool down a fraction in a few seconds 23 22 lamps back on again so uh, yeah it's uh, tries to keep quite close control over it um, there is a I think a kind of under an overshoot learning facility on this uh, so it can sort of train itself it is that's how I'm reading the instructions um, I suppose that would be useful if you had the same boards that you were uh, 
repeating the same process on it would uh, learn um, that if it's overshooting by four or five degrees it will perhaps turn the heat off um, you know a little bit earlier and allow that overshoot to actually bring it up to what is the correct temperature um, so yeah you can see that working and uh, yeah it's perfect I'm, uh, I'm very pleased with that obviously it's not a pretty solution at the moment but I really just wanted this for uh, you know test purposes and the next stage will be to replace the uh, lamp obviously with the, the ceramic uh, element and uh, and see how uh, how hot that gets uh, I don't expect to use this uh, long term um, I expect the PC410 to arrive in the new year and that will probably replace this for bottom heat control and uh, and also uh, top heat control seems to be the better option it's not you know a hell of a lot more money um, so yeah well worth getting I think uh, the other thing I thought of um, to control the heat output of the ceramic heater you can buy uh, quite powerful uh, dimmer switch uh, units and uh, that would allow me to adjust the output of the um, uh, of the heating element uh, and coupled with the, this as well that might be a, a better option so yeah I don't know Pro probably just makes sense to uh, use the PC410 in, in, uh, instead of this but yeah there you go that's uh, that's the system all up and running uh, no issues whatsoever there of course anyone from the for that's not from the forum and has come across this video be please bear in mind these are live mains connections and uh, don't mess with the mains power if you uh, don't know what you're up to okay so yeah all done tested working and uh, quite pleased with that and i'll catch you later